Hello everyone and welcome back to Corona's Place Trails of Cold Steel 3. Today, we're going into the casino. Here's this, where Zephyr was last reported. In we go then. We need a thousand mirror, right? Welcome to Elisa. Would you care to show us your membership card? Ah, I knew we needed a membership card. What's this? New customers? Why not register with us? It's only a thousand mirror per person. If you if one of the register if one of you registers, you can also bring friends as guests. That's not a bad price. All right, I'll register. Please, Le Reen, allow the RMP to cover. Ah, that's fine. He's all grown up. Let Reen show off a little for us. Oh, oh, certainly. <laughs> I was getting a card showing off. Woohoo! I'll get you set up right away. Do you guys get commission for this? After a simple registration process, Reen receives his membership card. Paid 1,000 mayor in registration fee. What if I don't have that money? Oh, well, maybe like Claire will call for it or something. Thank you for joining. Now you just need to indulge in the thrills of the gamble. <laughs> Adios for now. <laughs> My beautiful bunnies. Oh, yeah, I get it. Whatever I'm made of, it's not money, that's for sure. That's kind of true, actually. We're, we're, uh, we're hurting. Judging from the time, this is probably going to be my last investigation of the night. Is there any last minute stuff I need to check in the city? I don't think so. So, let's enter the casino. Oh, you coming in? We got a four guests coming right in. Wow, so instead of just one guest, we can bring all of them? I feel like this would have been a good bonding point experience if we could just bring in Claire. This is really nice. Tell me about it. It's certainly right at home in the city of, en of entertainment. And look at how crowded it is. It's a shame we don't have time to play tonight. Well, there's always next time. <laughs> Did you get yourself a membership already? Jeez, you're really gonna come back, huh? Anyways, this is where Zephyr was last spotted. Be careful. Right. I mean, can I not actually play... Well, there's a green thing. Hi, green thing. Hello there, would you like to play? You can make a hundred thousand mirror in a single night, you know. A hundred thousand mirror? And I presume someone here has. Indeed, it was just last year. Uh, how is the garbage truck back? How is it back? It just passed. Okay, it's gone again. We had a common, uh, a common individual, I shall call them, walk in with more luck than most would dream of having. Then they held fast to one rule. Don't leave this, sing this, leave this city with a single mirror in their pocket. And so they spent everything they won and more in the club that night. That being said, they were truly in a state of regret upon waking the next morning. Huh, what a lame ending. I agree. I would have made for a better story if they, if they had no regrets. I'm sure most would have come across their share of regrets thanks to liquor courage. Not every day you hear someone blowing that much in the casino. This might be a good story for Monk. Might be a good story about depression. Like, Jesus Christ. That would suck. <laughs> Give me the dirt. Yeah, here's how someone lost a hundred thousand Mira. I'll send you your uh, well, I guess I should talk to everyone though. Uh, where is the? It's up above, which seems to have a real huge crowd of people there. So we can't play any of these. That's that sucks. Like, not even Blackjack or anything like that? Oh, uh, yeah. Good luck there, buddy. Is that a hostess? I mean, I, I get... Oh, your knee's fusing through your skirt. You should be careful about that. So none of you going to have, like, anything for me? Oh man, I was actually kind of hoping we could play uh, some of these games. Maybe win a couple of prizes or mirror even. That would be great because I need some money to be quite honest. I would skate save scum the living bejesus out of this if I could make mirror here. I. I'll play around. I can admit to myself. Uh, yeah, I wish I could too. Nice wine. Hello. Good luck. Bye. 
I just love a man who smells like Mira. I mean, to be fair, I guess you wouldn't be the only person. And what's this over here? I thought you were a little child. And I was like, what the hell are you doing here? All right, story event. Oh, it's Zephyr. That's some crowd over there by the poker table. Should we take a look? A Raquel investigation will end should you choose to proceed. Check the poker table. What else do you want us to do? You actually gave us two warnings there. Excuse me. Oh yeah, this hand's a beaut. Well ain't this a bitch. I messed up. Say, is it too late to back out on that bet? No. That's unbecoming of the king. You so know. yes, I guess. Huh, <laughs> low blow. All right, dealer. Let's get this show on the road. If you would, gentlemen, please show your hands. <laughs> Full house, read him and weep. Sorry, four of a kind. What? For the love of Edios, you gotta take it easy on this old fart. I might have played you a little too hard on this one. A, a royal flush. Oh. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Well, you certainly know how to bluff. You've won all the chips on the table. <laughs> Sorry, but let me have this one. You still got it, boss. You you had a you had to have been cheating, right? <laughs> Where were you? You know, I thought traps were your thing. And you're yelling. You could you can bounce back from that loss or two. What do you say? How about oh, the winner buys the loser a drink? Damn it! Get off your high horse. Aren't you? Why? Nice to see you again. <laughs> Where'd I see you before? Sutherland? You're a sight for sore eyes, Purple Lightning. Yeah, yeah, good to see you, Jaeger King. I'm amazed you can greet us so casually. If he's the Jaeger King, then he's Fees. You would be the head of Zephyr, correct? Long time no see, Icy Maiden. Hmm? Have I seen this other one around somewhere before? Angelica? You'd make any man jealous being surrounded by such beauties. Thanks? All right. What do you say we take this little chat to that lounge by the corner? That is what you came here for, isn't it? I guess. Yes, please. What? You didn't order a drink? The night's still young. Don't be shy about the price. It's all on me. Order all the drinks, Reen. Ah, easy for you to say. Thanks for the offer, but we're in the middle of work. Not to mention, I don't have the balls to get drunk in front of you guys. Hmm, I suppose it never hurts to be cautious. Ah, oh, you gotta make me cry. And what, might I ask, brings the daughter of the four great houses and the icy maidens to me? I'm not here in official capacity. It would be a waste not to enjoy Raquel's nightlife after coming all the way to Lamar. Lamar. Fair enough, take a load off then. By the way, I always wanted to thank you for taking care of Fee. That's not something you need to thank us for. We were classmates, of course I'd help her. If you decided on her own to uh, join Class 7 and become a bracer, if you had a time to thank us, then why not talk to her? Ouch, you don't miss words, do you? Does sting a little. Still, as we told you in the Pentagruel, we appreciate you looking after her. Alright, do you mind if we get back to business? You're not going to pretend it's some coincidence we saw you here, right? What are you helping the Black Workshop with? That's, this is really nice. Hmm. Huh, you don't miss words either. I like that. Why not ask a little more then? Aren't you curious about what you saw in Sutherland? That shadow. Sure, I'm curious, but will you give me an answer? Not for free. We Jaegers aren't ones to just talk to anyone. How about we play this? What is that? Is that a vanish? You absolute idiot. I am going to destroy you in Vantage Masters. Been playing recently. Here's the real game. If you beat all of us, we might be inclined to let you in on what you know. That's all we have to do? You sure are a real piece of work. Boss. I'm not gonna back you up if you complain later. <laughs> we should always give the young ones a fighting chance. 
Besides, the reward's always sweeter than when you take it by force. So how about it, Swazer? <laughs> you have dug your own grave again. That's fine. I don't mind telling you. But taking your spoils by force is the Jaeger's way through and through. Is that okay with you? <laughs> like father, like daughter. That's what you want, then I accept. I played Blades, so if it's easy to pick up, I'll join in. The only problem is, is, is if I need to make my own deck from scratch. If only this was blackjack or poker. We can't ha make it this too easy for you. I've got two of the same deck. Seems fair if you use the identical set, yeah? I would say so. Let me be the judge of this. We need someone to look out for cheating. <laughs> Do as you like. I'll play one then. I'll play two. How, how should we do the matchups? I'll go against the Purple Lightning. Then I'll take the Icy Maiden. Guess that leaves you and me. And now, don't bear your fangs just yet. Save those for the game. Oh, you have no idea. None! Angelica confirmed the decks were indeed identical before allowing the games to begin. I don't want to use your deck. I want to use my deck. I'll play Transmute. I'm telling you, you don't want to use that card just yet. <laughs> You're good. I'll use my blade, Blaze, to power up and do six points against the Master. That was a strong move. How are you two holding up? They're both good, but the other side's pushing hard. Come on now. Focus more on your own game. You don't want to miss what I'll do next. I activate the Kyria Bell card. Damage to all! Do I not actually get the play? I can't lose here. <laughs> you all suck. What? What on earth? Just what are you all doing here? And how'd you get in? <laughs> We're here to rescue you again. Took us long enough to find you. Hey, I remember you lot. See some new faces too. Nice to see you again, Black Rabbit. <laughs> what brings you guys here? How'd you get in? Online. We came all this way to find you playing cards. Yeah, we're having fun. It's adult time. <laughs> Let's talk later. Okay, then. Let me sub in for you, Valzine. I can turn your game around. Um, you're doing subs? I know this game is to some extent. I'm not quite as adept with complex calculations as you, Major, but would you mind if I took your place? Um, no, you two guys go home. Are you too serious? Phew, I've hit my limit. It's true that they most likely know the game better than us. Do you take issue with the change? I don't, personally. Nothing wrong with making things up. Let's see how you play. Are you two really sure? Oh, this is an interesting turn of events. Let's say we start over with them. Why even offer when you're the one who's winning? You've been too focused on your, what your partners were doing. Doesn't make it as fun for me. Let's start fresh and take the game seriously this time. Alright, if you insist. I'll even let you play with your own deck if you want. Good! I'll stick with mine, of course. Should I keep using the Jaeger King's deck? No! I might stand a chance with my collection. Use the personal deck. Well, since you're fine with it, I'll go ahead and use my own deck. <laughs> Good! And then I am going to ruin you! You're gonna wish you stayed dead! Are you gonna be okay? I don't know, but what choice do we have? His opponent is another other than the Jaeger King. We simply have to wait and see. Good luck, kids! I see you as well, Re Yeah, I'm not a kid. Alright then, let the rematch between Rut Rutger and Reen begin. Oh, bring it on. Begin. Okay, that guy is actually fairly strong. So I go first. That's unfortunate. Get rid of all those. Give me damage ups. Yes! Oh! Okay, good stuff. So. That's fine. We do this. We do this. We do this. We attack. I want to attack that card just to ruin it. Then we'll attack you. And then we'll unturn. Okay, don't 
Oh, that has a skill, though. That's unfortunate. Is that one ranged? It's flying. Apparently, it can just move back and forth. Ow! Okay, damage up, please. No, but it's still good. Oh, we don't have enough there? That's fine. Um... Contacts deal plus two damage. Skill, draw a card. Yeah, go after you. And we'll leave uh, Ocean Man up front for now, unless we can have kill someone. We cannot. Uh, the next turn we'll do that. And we'll have a range next time so we can take care of little... Uh, Whatever the hell that thing is called. And that one. Oh, you're using my strategy. Okay, that's fine. Oh, that's fantastic. Right. Well, I'm going to save that mana one there for now. Put you there you up there. I should put you on the back row, actually. Ah, oh, well, whatever. That's fine. Um... Kill... That one. Kill that one. Don't want no healing. There's no healing in Dark Souls. Yeah, I should have put a card down there. Oh well. We can wait. Hopefully we'll get some damage ups next turn. That makes sense. You don't have any range right now, so that's fine. Okay, so we'll put you right there for now. We'll kill you. Attack. You? Yeah. You three damage to you. Alright. Cool cool beans. Cool beans. The next time we can move you over there to get six, then we can move you, and then we're good to go. Okay, that's What the hell was that? Dude, what the hell, man? That's rude. I mean, I guess it's gonna go after you, I guess. No. So you know what? Move over there. And then stay, for now. Oh, there goes my range card. Good lord. Well, one of my range cards. That one looks like it could hurt. But I don't think you guys can defeat me. Why? Okay, so it's over? Yeah. Told you I'd put you back in the ground. The master's been defeated. Reen wins. Huh, I won. <laughs> Guess that does it. Yes! Congrats on winning. But Muse and Ash are still playing. Dude, are those three damage ups, dog? What? That all you got? What the hell? Three vanishes and for 18 points? You're killing me. How long have you been holding on to those? Don't tell me you were. You aren't gonna say I'm a cheater without proof, are you? It's just common sense to hold on to your best move till the very end. <laughs> oh, I like you. 
And that's the end of my turn. Mm, and that is the end of the game. I lost. I'd say using Uptide in round three saw to that. You did well to think so far ahead. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I just happen to have good draws. Um, so everyone won. Surprised they were all able to make a comeback. He turned the split an impressive amount of strategy. Especially Reen. Ash probably cheated, but at least he's good at enough to hide it. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll be. Didn't think all three of you would just slip up. Well, all three of us would slip up. Guess I really am getting old. Uh, it doesn't feel like we won. Not only did my students have to come in and save me, but you gave me a good shot when you were winning. Uh, gave me a second shot, yeah. Yeah, but a win's a win. I'll keep my promise. Time for your reward. I'll answer a few questions for you. The thing I showed you is called Zector. Sorry, that's the most I'm gonna say on that one. Okay. Can I have it? You mean the one we saw in Sutherland? Zector feels like a suitable name for Divine Knight. Here's what else I want to know. Including Zephyr, I've noticed the four groups in action. That makes you, the Red Constellation, Nidhogg, and an unidentified group of Purple Jaegers. What's everyone's objectives here? Um... Keep, going, keep, keep it going, straight shooter. I <laughs> figure you ask. Each core is, has different objectives, but you can break it down to two sides. On one side, you get the Red Constellation and those Purple Jaegers. On the other side, you got us and Nidhogg. Uh, they were hired by the government. The government hired Jaegers? That does clear up some things. And the same teams about, uh, are about in line with what we expect. Just to make sure, Zephyr and Nidhogg are on the same sides, but you weren't hired by the government, right? Exactly. We get similar interests, but... So we're choosing to back them up. Uh, but you already know who hired us. And you probably already know that Red Constellation is siding with society. Which brings us to what you don't know, the identity of the Purple Jaegers. Surely you've realized who they are by now, Sarah Valestein. The dead soldiers who, even after losing the Northern War, couldn't throw their pride away. The deserters from the Northern Jaegers. Huh? The Northern Jaegers? Uh, are they? They're a large-scale Jaeger Corps, which was based in the former North Ambria State. I was afraid of this, Sarah. <sighs> <laughs> hey, hold up! We won, and you're not giving us Jack besides a name and who's backing who? To be fair, they did give us what we didn't know. What can I say? We're fine with letting a little secret slip out here and there. But you ain't earned more than that. I think that's plenty for now. Um... Screw off. I knew it. I will say, though, those were some solid... I don't know what those cards are. They mean nothing soon. to me. This was fun. Later. Should the chance come, let's play again. Until then... Did I win any of your cards? Look at his cards. That was his hand. He could have dealt de lethal damage with this combination. And he would have been free to play them at the end. He was going- I kicked his ass! Alright. I destroyed him. I don't care what your little narrative is here. I know we have to lose in every cutscene and whatever. Whatever the hell your gist is. I destroyed him! He is nothing to me in Vantage Masters. I, that goes here and this goes there. I see. What? Look at his master. Was he cheating too? I don't think he was. He was just that good. He was shit! Well played, Jaeger King. Yeah, no, he lost. Horribly. I dealt extreme damage to him. Well, as he said, a win is a win, and we get some answers. Doesn't sound like much, but what he said spoke volumes. You should be proud, Reen. You too as well, Muse and Ash. Um... Oh, thank you. <laughs> no prob. You guys are all expelled. I should have said it first, but thanks for helping me. But you will explain why you were in a, a casino and supervise, I'm sure. Oh dear, I suddenly become lightheaded after so much, such an intense bat match and cannot speak. Oh, wait, wait, we're, we're only just... Only because... Okay, we're just as guilty. At least we were able to help the instructor. Perhaps I should practice Vantage Masters in my spare time. 
You don't get a free pass just because you know how to play a card game. It does help, though. Did I not win any cards? He left them on the table. Can I just take them? I know I'm not updating my deck. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. You have acted without leave again and again. What I, why exactly do you feel it was necessary to chase after Instructor Swarzer? That that's... We have no excuse. Indeed. Major, I've already given them a harsh warning. I think maybe that, that might be enough. No, they should be expelled. Silence. This is my task as commanding officer. Disregarding the rules and sneaking out is unacceptable. Make sure that's clear. To make sure that it, that's clear, I'm going to drill it into your skulls from, from now to lights out. Huh, but staying up too late is terrible for my complexion. Uh, we're all wiped out, so could you just keep it short? Make them run laps until they puke. Oh, it's a shame, but I suppose it is what it is. Uh, a little tough love every now and then might do him some good. It just feels wrong. I mean, they're the reason we got that info from the Aegir King. You can worry about that about the punishment some other time. Right now, we should be focusing on what we learned. Yeah. We're dealing with the branch of uh, a branch unit of the Northern Jaegers. People who uh, people of the Annex North Ambria. It's been a half a year since the annexation at the end of the Northern War. Most of the Northern Jaegers were drafted into the Imperial Army. Still, a large number of them went AWOL. That's right. Un until now, they were believed to have fled to the Midwest. I never thought that we'd encounter them in Lemire. Given that they were wearing new gear, do you think the society is backing them? Well, they seem to be on the same side as the Red Constellation, so it is a possibility. Damn, this is turning into a real headache. By the way, anyone else surprised to hear that the Empire hired Nidhogg? They didn't share the info with the RMP. But I hear the Intelligence Division often hires Jaegers for their Black Ops. Lecter should be able to shine some light on that if we ask him tomorrow. That's enough, Revelt. You may be off duty, but it's not your place to collect classified government information. Try to remember that you are the foremost representative of the Railway Military Police. Forgive me. A message from the from HQ. You're to be in Heimdall by sunrise. sunrise. So for the rest of you, you may depart tomorrow morning. It's already late, after all. Claire, do you want to leave the government and, like, work with me? Jeez, I know his job is to be stone-faced, but would it kill him to lighten up a little? <laughs> he's pretty sweet when it comes to his students, really. It's true, he's, he's stuck serving two masters, but he really does try. Seriously, you should have seen him when he first started. He softened up quite a bit. Is that so? Okay, we've shared the information we learned today with all the relevant parties. Strict the Sarah, Major Clear, why don't you take uh, to take the guest room for tomorrow? Very well, thank you for your hospi hospitality. That's our Toa, always ready for anything. Oh, you're too kind. Angie, why don't you bunk with me? Of course, I'm always happy to share your bed. Toa, you want to bunk with me? They're not being forced to run laps until morning? That's bullshit game. Snore. Are any fellas sleep sleep so quickly? And they say it's proof you're a good soldier if you sleep when you're told. I bet they've got a lot to talk about. It's the first time in years they've seen each other. Just like me and the rest of Class 7. Moon's out tonight. Maybe I'll go for some fresh air. I'm leaving early tomorrow, so too. So I need to make sure I'm not up too much longer. Uh, well, time for a shower. Clearly, you never know. Oh, this is nice. Having a shower before bed is good. You know, why not have two? Oh, this is nice. All right. So, I'm assuming. 
most people are gonna be asleep, right? So hi. <laughs> I didn't know that happened. <laughs> yeah, you and George really saved my bacon that time. Seems like they're they're going they're go things are going well. And no wonder they haven't seen each other for a year and a half. Hmm. Is that Reen I've been flirting out there? Yes. Huh? <laughs> Why don't you come in, silly? <laughs> it looks like I underestimated you. Angelica, that's my thing. <laughs> Seems like you've really been sharpening your martial arts skills, huh, Angelica? Yeah, I went and visited a bunch of different schools that have connections to Taito. I think I'm pretty much packed my head full of kung fu by now. No wonder, your movements are so sharp now. You were able to meet with your master again, right? The one who first taught you Taito? Yeah, she's from Calvart, so it's pretty hard to get over there to see her. But I was able to talk to her for quite a few th uh, about quite a few things while I was there, so it was a good trip. Dots? Um, well, I don't really understand anything about martial arts, but were you able to finish your cross-continental motorcycle trip? Nah, I haven't been able to hit everywhere just yet. I went around Liberal, Ramaferia, Ored, Le Mans, and Arteria. Then from there, I was able to make it to the central eastern part of the continent. But Eastern Samaria is kind of a tough, tough enough to crack. Eastern Samaria. I've only heard stories. It seems like the desertification has gotten worse and there's less and less land there for people to live. That's why there's been an influx of immigrants moving into Calvard. Actually, Master Cafe, my teacher, is there right now. Oh, is that so? Just what I expect from the founder of the Eight Leaves One Blade School. I asked, the local, I, looked, I asked the local guild branch out there, and they said it would take, it'd take me a half a year to get to the east by land. I was worried about what was going to happen uh, going on at home, too, so unfortunately, I had to give up heading that way. Master Cafe? It's a like Master Cafe or something like that. Fee? Cafe? Uh, I said something like that in the letter he sent to me. Dragon veins are nearly depleted. Uh, those were the, use he wor uh, the words he used. Seems like they have a lot to deal with over there. If the Empire wasn't in such a state, I would have loved to go there and help, but... I was actually talking about this with George, too. If it's even possible to use a, te a technology to support East and Zemiria and stop the desertification there. One thing's finally, once things finally settled and done here in the Empire, it might be something for us and all you guys from Class 7 to look into. Ah. Angie! <laughs> you truly are something, Angie! And you, but you're right, we've gotten help from a lot of people from other con countries. So someday we should make sure we're not just con contributing to the Empire, but the entire continent of Zemiria, after they fall in the umbrella of the Empire. Right, Reen? Now we're getting it. You gotta dream big. After that, Reen, Toad, and Angelica all reminisce about their school days together. Once they had finished their trip down memory lane, Reen bid them a good night and left the room. Um... Who's in here? No one? Talk to everyone still up. Sarah! She's getting drunk! <laughs> What's the matter? Can't sleep? Well, not exactly. It's just that there's so much th so much going on, I need to sort out all my thoughts. Oh, I know how that is. Hey, Reen, how about you have a little drink with me before bed? Huh? Sometimes a little room for breathing is all you need to sort yourself out. Here, I'll pour you a bit. The stuff will really kick you in the teeth, so you so you should probably just dip your tongue in it to start out. No, you down it in one shot, Reen. We don't baby anything around here. Whoa, you weren't kidding. It's Spiritus. Liquor from North Ambria. Said to be the strongest drink in the world. Guess it's kind of hard to get much stronger than 96%, though. You should try Everclear. If I had taken a normal sip of this, I'd be on the floor already. But the singing of my tongue is turning a little sweet. <laughs> right. I knew you'd be able to appreciate it. Never thought the day'd come when I'd get to talk with you over drinks like this. Really? Didn't think I would age? That new Class 7 of yours? They're a good bunch of kids. Yeah, they still got a long ways to go, though. I'm struggling as a instructor, too. Just wish I could guide them a little better. They're all pretty unique kids, just like you guys were. But I know things will work out for you. I mean, come on. They were also worried about you. They ran headlong after you. And they should be expelled for that. I'm sure they had a bit of a push from a certain someone, though.
You already knew, didn't you? Who those purple Jaegers are. Dots? Yeah, what they said brought back some complicated feelings. At first I wasn't sure, but when I saw your reaction I knew. That's so. Guess I've still got a ways to go myself in that case. Back then during the Northern War, I couldn't do a thing. I spent all my time getting rid of all the Arcanisms that they were let loot that they let loose on the city. All the higher ups in the Northern Eagers, the ones who worked with Ouroboros, got away. If I captured them, North Ambria's government would have called for a ceasefire. I could have stopped the annexation. That's a nice little scenario, Reen. But you know it's a load of bull, don't you? The annexation of North Ambria was done under the Imperial government's orders. Way I hear it. General Le Guin agreed to take the place over to keep the provincial armies from being disbanded. The outcome was decided from the start. That's... In the middle of that farce of a war, you managed to save the lives of tens of thousands of citizens. It did cost me my Super Saiyan form, though. And the Jaegers you met today? I think they know that. But maybe it was impossible from the start. Fixing a country already being destroyed from within by Jaegers. He probably knew that too. Who? Whoopsie. Well, you see, he was... <laughs> he was my first love. I'm assuming you're not talking about me. Really? Well, actually, he was the closest thing I had to a dad. Uh, okay. Let's not get too weird. So you, you have a daddy complex? I guess? Way back during the Northambrian disaster, when the salt pail covered so much of the principality in a storm of salt, a man took in an orphaned infant. He was a former colonel in the army and one of the people who founded the Northern Jaegers. As soon as I was old enough to understand anything, I knew that Jaegers who came back with foreign currency were considered heroes. The man who raised me was one of the leaders of the Northern Jaegers, the heroes of our homeland. You were in a cape or a coat. I looked up to my dad oh, no, that's a coat. anyone. Wanting to be just like him, I joined a juvenile Jaeger Corps at the age of 10. After a few years of harsh training, I was admitted to the main corps at the tender age of 13. That's a little young. It was there that I experienced my first real battle. It was hell. A field of death, where lives are tossed aside to satisfy someone else's desires. There I lived, smoke and blood painted across my body. And there I stayed, eventually becoming the Jaeger known as the Purple Lightning. But after a while, it reached a point where I couldn't take it anymore. Yeah, I feel like that would probably be a, a hell of a life, right? When I was 18, I was assigned command of a squad. Well, not like a good, no, no, not like the expression like a hell of a time. I meant like you're living hell. We had a mission near Erebonia, fighting some proxy war on behalf of the nobles. The enemy was Needhog. My squad was destroying them. But just when we thought victory was ours, our efforts to avoid dragging any civilians into the fight left us open to a counterattack. We got hit hard. And then my dad showed up and saved me. Even though he was serving as the commander for the entire Corps, he came to our rescue and suffered a fatal injury for it. Do you see now? This is the fate of all Jaegers. You must think long and hard on whether you wish to continue down this path. It could have been because he was once part of the Principality's army, but he was quite the gentleman. Now that I think back, he never seemed to like the fact that I became a Jaeger. You probably could have told you that. Anyway, he left me with those final words and passed away in my arms. I screamed and screamed until my voice gave out, until I passed out from utter exhaustion. When I woke up, I was in an Imperial army camp. Was well, that when Instructor Beatrix treated you? Yeah. Ah, the nurse. Apparently they were there to check on the damage caused by all the Jaegers fighting. Neidhardt and Mueller Vander, who were both second lieutenants back then, were there too. They told me the battle had been over for a while, and all my comrades had already packed up and left for home. They left you there? I hadn't even thanked them before rushing back to my hometown. 
And what greeted me when I got there were celebrations and congratulations from my friends and the townsfolk. We had lost my father, but we won the war we were hired for. The nobles had given us an enormous pile of Mira. That meant we wouldn't die of starvation during the coming winter. I was relieved, but my tears just wouldn't stop. Yeah. In order to save my hometown from poverty, I covered myself in the smoke of war and the blood of innocence in foreign lands. Seeing the smiles on the faces of everyone in town and knowing the cost cut me deep. It was right then that I decided to quit being a Jaeger. I like your old outfit a little bit better. I joined up with the Bracer Guild, knowing I could put my combat skills to work and make some decent Mira if I hit A rank. That way I could send some money back home. Money that wasn't stained with blood. It depends on the work you get from the Bracer Guild, but yeah. I finally understand the true origin of your strength and kindness. <laughs> I'm not strong or kind, but I think I've finally started to get closer, little by little. Well, you're kind enough. Closer to being like the man I admired so much. And you're strong my enough, dad, too. My commander, and my first love. <laughs> but it makes sense now. No wonder you fall for all of the silver foxes. <laughs> yeah, no getting around the fact that I've got myself the daddy of all father complexes. <laughs> but you know, Lately, I found myself attracted to some younger guys. Yeah, well, Max Sharp's that over here, huh? Thank you. That's a second kiss this much. game. You don't watch yourself. You could make a real dangerous womanizer. Yeah, so I'm told. Well, with that, I bid you good night and sweet dreams. We should have drinks a little more often, Reen. That wasn't all some dream, right? Dots. <laughs> oh well. I'll just assume I've been tricked by fairies <laughs> on the eve of the summer festival. What? Um, I know we can go to the main car in a second, but we need another shower. You're right, especially after that. Turn it. Turn the temperature down. Uh, we'll check oh, out Valmar's. This is nice. Part? Maybe... Now, who would be here, though, at night? At Valimar? We know... Oh. Actually, Valimar is a marker. Hi, Valimar. D do you even really sleep? Reen, can't get to sleep? Nah, I just couldn't resist the sight of a gorgeous moon or the calming sound of the waves. Or a kiss from Sarah. The thing I showed you is called Zector. Sorry, that's the most I'm gonna say on that one. Oh, we're gonna ask Valmar if he knows. Hey, Valmar, does the name Zector ring any bells? Hmm. I feel as though I faintly remember that name. Ah, yes, though only a small fragment, I remember something. 250 years ago, during the War of Lines, Zector was the name of the Divine Knight under the Sixth Prince's command. Just as I thought, uh, Lucius Rise Ornar was the pilot of the uh, Palatinat Knight? No, he did not pilot the knight. The actual Wigner was the leader of a mercenary group hired by the prince. He was a crafty individual, but he lent the prince his power. I see, so even a parallel between him and the Jaeger Knight, or King. Wasn't the Palatinat Knight destroyed by, by the Vermilion Apocalypse? Correct. As such, it's difficult to say whether the one you saw was the same one or not, but as long as the Black Workshop and the gnomes are involved, we cannot rule anything out just yet. Yeah. I wish I was a, at least knew whether they're friends or foes. Just because they're working against our boss doesn't necessarily mean they're on our side. We'll simply need to pay close attention to their actions. If you come across any new facts, be sure to let me know. I may recall some information. Can do, thanks. Kinda wish they washed you too. Yeah, I really like the fact that Sarah's scene was like all voiced. That was fantastic. I really need more of that in my life. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call it here and we'll finish talking to everyone up next time. Thanks for watching, I'll see you then.